Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I am going to be doing a haul video stroke card video because I'm going to show you the bits that I've got which is some Tim Holtz stuff and then I'm going to use a couple of them to make a card. So I've been wanting the Tim Holtz Crazy Birds etc collection for a while and then I saw that he'd also bought out now the Crazy Cats so I thought well let's just go for it so that is what we're going to have a look at so I've purchased here the stamps but it also came with the dies as a set you could buy them individually or you could get them together I did get them as a bundle because I did really want the dies as well as the stamps and I just think these are adorable he has now bought the birds out as a minis but for me personally I just decided I wanted to go for the standard size ones so it's the red rubber it's kind of cool actually because it comes on this plastic here with the hole so you can slot it into a little book um, and keep your stamps organised that way and it even has the name of it on the actual sheet it's not on the plastic it's actually on the plastic sheet that the stamps are on so that's the stamps the dies came um, because it came in a set like this the piece of paper with the dies was kind of on the outside of this piece of plastic so when I took this out this paper was on the outside for some reason so I took that apart and put it inside and put all the dies inside the paper as well but I would recommend keeping this or getting something even better because what I found was that even when this was shut they're, they're such small pieces they can easily just tip out of that top piece there so you've got a lot of dies in here because you might think gosh that's quite a lot of money for the die set for a few birds but actually you can see that you've got a huge amount here you've got the big birds themselves but then you've got like the wings for each bird you've got the eyes and the beaks etc it's Sizzix as well so it's going to be really nice quality I'm not actually going to be demonstrating the dies today. I'm just going to show you the stamps. So that's the dies for our crazy birds. So then you've got the crazy things. This is what sort of came out next, I believe. And again, you've got the stamps here. And I also have the dies, which I'll show you in a minute. But I think this is just so cool. You've got all these different hats and balloons. You've got string and hearts, box of chocolates, flowers, bunny ears. So you've got different, you've got Christmas, Halloween, graduation, just fun stuff, birthdays, etc. So there's loads in there that you can then do. And of course, that's the benefit of having the dyes. I mean, obviously you can mask off when you do it and that would be a really cool way of layering up the images um, but, but having the dies is gonna make that kind of really easy and cool to do and so you've got all of those now I won't open these ones up because you've seen what the dies look like now so you can see that there are absolutely a gazillion in there and again that's why it costs a lot metal dies are going to be expensive for a good quality die and there are 33 dies in this pack so that's that and again I got that one as a set so then we've got our crazy cats I think this is fairly new out I could be wrong but I just thought these were adorable aren't they just so funny and I think it's just really in the same kind of theme and um style of the of the birds and I think if you're a cat person you're going to absolutely love this in fact I think if you're not a cat person you'll love it I'm definitely not a cat person and I love it I just hope he does a crazy dogs now because I think uh, we definitely need a crazy dogs I hope you're listening Tim I want crazy dogs <laughs> anyway so that's the stamps for those and you've got things like the little milk and the fish as well as the cats looking kind of weird <laughs> he looks like he's been electrocuted um so 
you've got those and then again I've got the dies that go with that there's quite a lot of bits um, you know like the milk and the, and the ball of wool and the fish but you've also got the cat again has got the eyes and stuff and this I think his tail on some of them is separated I think this bit was like different separate die so you've got quite a few parts to the to the dies like um, so that's the cats and I'm super excited about all of those and then I had seen these on a video and I just thought these were fabulous I love 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 these and these don't have to be used with the cats or the birds or anything you can use these on any card I reckon it will work for all sorts of things no dice for these as far as I can tell I don't know if they've not come out yet or if I just didn't see them but I'm hoping they do bring some out because I think these would be really cool to have dies on and to die cut them. I mean, they're not difficult to fussy cut round, but I still, I'm, I'm a real girl for dice and stamp sets. I love that. I know that a lot of people don't, um, but I'm one for if there's a die set that goes with the stamps, I'm like, I really want that to go. I love having the set. And sometimes you have to think, yeah, but would I actually die cut that stamp really you know you have to kind of think and make yourself hold back well at least i do so anyway there's these but these ones i definitely think would benefit from some dies and then finally quite off from those sort of comic book sort of style um i've got the runway stamp collection and i just think these are stunning these are so like you would imagine the sketches in a chanel kind of house of fashion would be like wouldn't it or, or Dior actually it seems more Dior to me um I just think they're fabulous and I really really like them I didn't actually realize as well my mum pointed out that this one's a bride I hadn't actually noticed that bit but if you didn't want her to be a bride because you just love the dress and stuff, you could easily not put ink on that bit of flowers there and that little veil part there and just use her as a lady in a very fancy dress. So you've got seven stamps on that one. So that is all of the stamps that I did get and the dies. So I thought it would be fun to make a card Okay, so I've got a piece of the Tim Holtz Distress watercolour paper and I have cut it down to five and a half by three and three quarters approximately. So it will fit on an A6 card as a simple matte and layer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I, because I'm going to be doing some embossing, I'm just going to take my powder and I'm just going to put a layer of that across my card here. Okay, so now we want to start our stamping. What I want is to have these two little birds here and they're going to be getting married. So I want to put a little top hat on this bird here. So because the top hat is sitting over the top of his head, in order to make it look like it's actually sitting on him we that hat is in front of him and therefore we need to stamp the hat first mask it off and then stamp our bird so I just want to position these two so that I can um, know where to put the hat so I'm gonna actually grab I've actually got a little mask of the bird I'm not actually using it as a mask today but it's going to be handy just for the purposes of positioning to help me with the hat so that's about there and I'm just gonna tape my piece of card down so that I make sure it doesn't wriggle because I want to be sure that when I pick this up that the top line here and the side line here is lined up with the corner of my card so that then 
when I take this mask away that I used, I know that when I stamp it down like so, the hat will be in the right place. So we're going to take the hat ink it up making sure that it's lined up on those two sides and then press like so and I'm just going to release that so that I can put my embossing powder on just using my heat tool there we go and then I'm just going to go underneath to straighten that out a bit that lovely okay so that's the hat so now I'm going to take my mask and I'm going to pop that on the hat and then I'm going to take my powder again and just go over that because I've been touching it and then we're going to get this little bird and this one we can do by eye pop him about there I think there we go And then just peel that little mask off and we can keep that. There you go. Doesn't he look cute? <laughs> that looks really adorable. That worked out well. So I have taped it down. I've got a little plastic mat thing there as well, although it's a bit smaller than I expected. It's the only one I've got left at the moment. Um, and I'm going to be using these Kuretake paints. I think these are gorgeous. So we're just going to be doing a very light bit of watercolour work on this. So We fit like two birds in a house are in the corner of six and eight I've got to say Who would have thought that we'd be intertwined and quite the same We are the only game I want to play All the same, the grass gets greener every day in our place. I'll visit every Wednesday, our imaginary hay boy. Well, I'll see you soon. Miles scare all of me and you. Time whispers into my ear and overwhelms. He speaks so sweet, he says You'll get days that equal years Travel back to Navy Pier Won't we, dear? Everywhere that you dare I'll close my eyes and taste the air As flowers bloom and all the same the
flowers bloom and all the same The grass gets greener every day In our place I'll visit every Wednesday Our imaginary hay boy Well, I'll see you soon Gotta say He says he loves me As long as the day is wide From morning to night Standing in It's about as new as last year's rain Pouring down from the sky so high And you get used to knowing everything about each other So you don't ask why Oh, but you better not forget Or reclaim the world as ours And left the two the days to come Okay, so that's that all painted now I want to just add a little bit of shimmer to her wing to make her look a bit more girly and to these So that's just a little bit of glitter to that and then I want to add just some glossy accents to their eyes but actually I'm not going to do that until I've added this piece to the card base. So I've got a craft card base and I'm just going to keep it really simple and just add that there and this lovely brown in the there goes nicely. So I'm just going to use a piece, some pieces of foam tape. Okay. <laughs> and then just going to stick that piece down in the middle. I just want to get my glossy accents here. And you can see now how that's just got nice and flat because that tape has just held it in place instantly. So I'm just going to glossy accent the eye. And these two. And the beak here. And this flower just to bring that to the fore a little and the hearts okay and then I've got some of these gorgeous sequins from little things from Lucy and I've just had these come and I think they are so pretty I'm just gonna randomly place some dots of glossy accent to put some of these on. Problem is now to find them. <laughs> 
And then I just want to add a pearl to the center of the flower. Like so. And hopefully you can just catch those sequins because they're see-through. And so that is my little crazy bird card. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at the stamps and dies. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at them in action. I hope you like the card. I would love to hear what you think. Don't forget if you're on YouTube, click the link below this video to take you to the blog post where it will have loads of information about the products, how to get them, about the card, loads of photos, etc, etc. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye! I'm talking about you and me What do you want? What do you see? And where is far ever reside? And the good girl's gotta make her peace With the man to understand things Clear out the way, the truth, the doubt, darling Where do you want to be? Running to each other like an old time movie. I don't